So this is the star that we're going to go in for coffee. We're going in the star. You'll love the star. It's got really, really friendly and welcoming staff. It's got a lovely atmosphere. The decor's amazing. And they've got live music on. They do vinyl clubs. It's just so nice. All right, we're going to take you because we're going to go on an arts trail. That's what it's called. And we're going to go and look at all the different art around Ride. And the first place we go to is Moncton Arts. And it's a two mile trail and you get to look at all the murals is it mural murals mural mural is, what is it murals <laughs> what is that not it murials is it murials it's your what is it? I don't know, mural. I got murals. It's a mural. <laughs> it's a painting on a wall, right? And we're going to go and look at them all. And you, what you do is you scan the QR code. I've got it, you know. You scan the QR code and then it gives you a map of ride and then you go round them all. It's like well exciting. But it's the it? second one we're going to, isn't it? Because we've just been to the yeah, star. Yeah, we've just been to the star first, but that's wrong. That's two. So now we've looked at our map and we've got to go and find one. I'll just spin you around because you'll be able to see the top of ride. So this is the top of ride and you can see the sea and you can see South Sea and you can hear the heat, the seagulls that we hired for you for the film. This is Union Street. I'm going to take you in Vernon Square because this isn't always open. some grand houses around here. Being of the houses here. Because you can imagine, couldn't you, in the older days when people lived in these as houses? Babe? What? Can you imagine? No. What do you mean no? Yes, you can. Look, imagine, oh, this is my house, and I live here behind the huge gates. We're going to go, there's the Sonnen Inn, we're going to go down this road, because this is where Moncton Arts is. Moncton Arts is a hidden gem of a cafe, art gallery and creative space. You can go in for refreshments and also they have lots of different events going on. Jenna, Sabine and other female artists at Moncton Arts took inspiration from the art deco style and the team thought about the ride area and had elements and imagery from the town and local countryside. As you can see, I still haven't worked out how to use my microphone, so I thought I'd just do a talk over for you. But anyway, this is Muriel One. This is the Strand. And we're just going through the little square now, and then we will come out on the seafront. I love these, look, they're called Camilla. We've planted one of these in our garden. There's Peter Pan's amusement. This is where you get proper yummy ice cream. You can see the paragliders were out in full force when we went for our walk along the beach. And here comes the hovercraft, which takes you over to South Sea and it's a 10 minute journey across the Solent. It's really windy. We're going to take you to the water so 
outside swimming pool now, which the lid slides off in the summer, so it's convertible. This is the captain's table cafe that's recently been refurbished, so we're going to have to go in here soon. I love the waterside pool in the summer because the lid slides off so it's just like you're under the sky. Oh my goodness, they've got boats. Look at their boats. Hello. I don't know. They've got boats, look. Then we find, found the Waterside Pool North Walk, which was Mural 9. This is a collaboration by Emma and Holly of Community Murals. This piece intricately weaves together themes of water and swimming. Then we take you back along the harbour to show you the sights. And we weren't doing it in any particular order, but I think it's just nice for you to have a mooch around the seafront. That's Ride Castle you can see across the way, which is a pub. And then the Super Bowl where you can go bowling and do laser quests and it's all just been redecorated so it was really nice. This is where what we're going to in a couple of weeks at this place, which is the pavilion. Let me show you. A place to come when it's cold. Oh, that's Laser Quest, where my Ellie used to work here, and so did Abigail. I've never been here. Right? What? I've never been here. You know, you have to come bowling with Ellie. Used to do work in here, and she used to do all the backpacks and do the demonstration of how to use them. And this is the bowling alley. That's the bar. It's all been painted. People are starting to stare. I'm going. Laters. What number is this? Seven. Eight. What? Eight. So the next mural, mural is at the Hover Travel where my little Globo works she's not wet today. Here's a muriel but this isn't like a real one. That's a muriel there. This one's designed and painted by Emma of Tuesday Sunshine. The colour palette draws inspiration from the breathtaking sunsets viewed from ride beaches. Invented by Alexander Cockrell, originally from Hyde. In August you can pop over to South Sea for the Victorious Festival. This is the deflated hovercraft. When the tide's really far out, it blows up and then skims across the sand. There's not one coming in. There's a train. It's an old London, an old London underground train. Let me go up the steps and show you. That's the train station that takes you up the pier. And if you go the other way, um, you can catch the train back to Shanklin. You see the new bus station as well on the left. Across the road is the Esplanade Hotel, the Veteran Bar, a couple of fish and chip shops and a place called Rocket Ronnie's where you can go and play pool. It's old bus day today. Next one we're going to 
we're doing is Castle Street and George Street that join together. Do you only show us the mural? Ride tyres and Apley. Let's go and see who did this one. Apple Tower features a lot. So this is the Heron. If anyone's tried it in here, let me know what it's like because I've never been. I can hear the hovercraft. Is that the hovercraft? Yeah. We're about to go into Union Street. I can't find it. Box. Light falls, this transforms into a light box that creates the magical impression of glowing stained glass. It's Ride's smallest art gallery. The front door. This is it. <laughs> Bit more enthusiasm. Grace's Bakery. In the tiny mill lane, you can see the work of Sarah and Jodie Redrop. With graduating colours, they want you to think of sunrise. Farmers, millers and bakers are all working to the sunrise. We're not in order, this is mural five. This one's huge, you must have taken me. This is by Laura and she hopes that a simple mark making creates an impactful, joyful piece that's recognisable by the community. To create a happier, welcoming space for people to sit, meet and enjoy and take pride in. It's very good. space really light. It's because it's white. We've got two more to go and we're going to take you back to Star Street where we began and have a proper look. This one is by Katie Rose Design and it relates perfectly to the purpose of the Arts Trail to illuminate the streets and focus on the safety of women and girls at night. The lady in the painting is based on Asteria who is the goddess of the stars. We're off to the last one now. We haven't really done them in order, but you can get a little map and um, do them in whatever order you like. How long has it taken us? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Reverse order as well, more or less. Yeah, we did it backwards. If you enjoyed it, can you give us a thumbs up? This collaboration is by Emma and Holly at Community Murals. This really elevates this corner of ride. I'm back at home now, I'm going to film from here because it was so windy and noisy outside you wouldn't be able to hear anything that I said. Just wanted to say thanks for watching, hope you really enjoyed the Ride Arts Trail. I'm going to leave in the description box below details of the website so you can click on it and you'll be able to go around and do all the different murals. Look at the murals that I, I can say the word murals now. You can go and have a look at them for yourself. Um, if you like the video, can you give us a thumbs up and it'd be really great if you could share it with your friends as well. And if you subscribe, it's free to do and it really helps us grow our channel. So if there's anywhere you want to go on this beautiful little island that you've been on holiday or you haven't been for ages, let us know in the comments below and we'll put it on our list to take you there. Have an amazing week. Thanks for watching. Bye.